Uh, my name is David Trimner. I'm the general manager here at Mealtrim Farms in Athens, Wisconsin. We currently milk about 2,500 cows. When we wanted to know what the future was going to be for Miltrim Farms, we kind of had to decide between maybe a rotary or going with robots. It was a three or four year process to determine what way we wanted to go. We, our plan was to add a rotary. Our existing parlor is 20 years old this year. I had key people on staff and family that said we need to look at the robots as well. And, and so when David and Tom and I went touring on larger dairies, that was kind of a good surprise that it is possible and we could see ourselves doing that. We put a lot of thought into the barn design, not only for cow traffic, but for people traffic as well. So when we walk down the feed alley of this barn, what you'll see is a three robot capital L shape. There's a tremendous amount of room in front of the robots for the cows to move in and out. All three of the robots are in one configuration, so they're all either left hand or right hand robots in that pen. A startup for us was a very smooth process overall, I'd say. So our startup process is led by Jackie. She's our FMS advisor. She does the scheduling, she helps with the cow data, she makes sure that all of the background herd data is in before we even come close to starting up. And then she's working with the farm staff as well to make sure they have a clear, clear plan on what we're gonna do on startup day. Having the service provider get us in contact with people and then give us somebody that was experienced with startups and basically help us walk through it all. One thing we did that was very important, I think, was we pre-trained the cows. And so what that involved was taking a full week before we milk them and pushing them through the robot once a day. It got used to them being in that enclosed area in that robot. And then it also taught them that there's feed in the robot. It shows them that going in this robot is a positive experience. When we started training cows to milk, it was much easier to get them in. They learned that the robot was gonna come underneath them and milk them, and they really got used to it quickly. Before it was just getting cows in and, and you weren't able to work in all the details as much and now we've just really settled in and all the cows are getting exactly what they need all the time. Um, there's a few things that we've learned that we would do different. We're putting in a Lely Cosmics to train all of our pre-fresh heifers. When we start up the next 12 robots in the future, I think that's really gonna help the transition and make the cows feel more comfortable than ever. Having a lot of younger animals, I think was a perk because even though it was a new process for them, milking in general is kind of a new process, so I think that really went well for them. The older animals took to it after a while, but it took them longer. When you have a Dairy XL farm, a farm that's 18 robots, right now it's the biggest robot farm in Wisconsin, that's a very proud moment for all of us, for everybody that's involved in, in this, the farm included, uh, myself, my, my people, my team. It's a very proud moment to be a part of something like this. I mean, truly making history and milking cows robotically.